everybody, the holidays are already upon us with holiday collections from cosmetic companies releasing already as early as October. Now today I'm going to be bringing you a review on the Heirloom Mix collection from MAC Cosmetics and I'm wearing it today on my face. I'm wearing as much of it as I possibly could and the nail polish that I picked up. So I'm pretty much immersed in it. And I want to tell you guys how you can get a great holiday look using these products and also what I used on my face plus a review of them. So this is an all-encompassing video that I hope you guys really enjoy. So I'm going to start with the shadows because I was most impressed with them. I was really, really happy about them. And they're not actually shadows. They are pressed pigments. So I picked up two pressed pigments. I picked up um, Enchantment, which was really big. I didn't think it was going to be so big. I didn't expect these to sell out and this one sold out. So I'm really glad I picked it up. And if you picked it up, I'm sure you're glad too. Um, I also picked up Noble Descent. I only picked up two of these. Now when you have these shadows, you don't necessarily treat them like shadows. Treat them like you would pigments. And pigments tend to work best when they're pressed on or um, dabbed on gently and rubbed. And they also work best if they're wet. And the same goes for this product. Now when it comes to enchantment, as you can see here, I'm going to show you a dry swatch and I'm going to show you a wet swatch. Now the brush that I used was a dense flat brush to apply these to my eye and I did apply them over a pretty tacky primer because I didn't want to apply them wet to my lid. The primer that I used is Mira Ness Toffee Mousse Super Long Gel and this I just applied all over my lid and I'm going to show it to you over this product on my hand when I swatch it but I'm also going to show it to you dry so this way if you don't have this product or you don't have a um, a primer, at least you can know what it looks like. Um, some people have said that it works well over the NYX Milk uh, Jumbo Pencil, but it also can work well over just your um, your Urban Decay Potion Primer, anything that's kind of tacky to help it stick on. Now, you're not going to want to go all willy-nilly with this and start using a fluffy brush and everywhere. You're going to have fallout everywhere. It's not going to be as, um, it's not going to look like this. It's gonna, you're going to lose a lot of the elements of the shadow, or rather the pressed pigment, if you just use a fluffy brush and you go everywhere. You want to take very soft motion. I actually used the Urban Decay Naked brush and it's a little bit messy right now and I took very very, um, I'm just going to show you my finger, like very slow motions to apply this to my, I have glitter on it now, but to apply it to my eye. So I'm going to show this to you. I'm going to swatch this up. Okay. So I'm going to take my brush that I've cleaned off. Now this is a dry swatch. So as you can see, it really doesn't perform well when you do in fast strokes, rather long strokes, but when you do in short strokes, you get a lot of that, that finish that you want to get, which is very similar. But as you can see, it's kind of sheer. But if you like a sheer product, you can sheer this product out, so that is good. It's good for when you have, you want to blend out. It blends really well. So I've applied my primer base, and I'm going to show you what it looks like over the primer base, or if you were to apply it wet, it would look very similar. Again, very short strokes. And you can see it's a much more opaque, much deeper. You see all the elements of the shadow when you apply it this way. Because you can see there's a lot of different reflections in there and you want to capture that. But the great thing about it is that when you apply it like thick motion like this, that's when you can start to really just thin it out, spread it out, blend it out. It starts to blend really effortlessly once you blend out of that thick portion that you've applied. Now, yes, you do have to apply it a little bit thick, but the effect is marvelous. Now I'm going to show you a swatch of Noble Descent. Now Noble Descent is a shimmery pink, so you have a really nice pink, and I thought that this would be only good as a highlight, and it turns out it's not just for highlight. So here's a dry swatch. As you can see, it's kind of like a highlight when it's dry, but when applied over, when applied over, but now you're really going to see the difference when you see it applied over a primer or if you were applying it wet. Even Fix Plus applied to your brush would have a much different effect. Again, short strokes. There you go. And you get the full effect. As you can see, it's a much prettier color when applied wet ver or over primer rather than applying it dry. You can see how much sheer it is. Now when I applied this to my eye, I did exactly what I just showed you on my hand. I applied the primer to, to my lid and I ended it right at my crease and I blended the primer slightly up above my crease. Then I applied the shadow in a smooth, smooth dabbing motion. I went out and then I brought it to the center for the darker color, which is enchantment. And then I took Noble Descent and I started from the corner and I drew in. 
I, I applied inwards. And then I blended them with the fluffy brush in the middle and I blended them with the fluffy brush out towards my brow bone. And that's how I did this look that you see here. Um, I then used the Benefit Liner Push-Up Liner, their real push-up liner, to do my black liner. I applied my lashes. On the lower lash line, I applied Enchantment and then I added a little bit of the glitter. What glitter am I talking about? I'm talking about Amethyst, which is just purple glitter that came with the collection. So let's talk about the packaging of this collection. This collection does not feature the regular MAC packaging. There is a slight difference. For example, in the lipstick, you can see there's a slightly raised glitterized feeling, very similar to the Hello Kitty collection. Um, it is quite sparkly, quite pretty, almost slightly galactic, but um, it works for the collection overall. So, um, the letters are white, very similar to Glamour Days. Now with glitter, if you're familiar with what glitter, it's really, it's not eye safe, but let's be honest, most of us use it on their eyes, our eyes anyway, and I have applied it, I have applied it to my lower lash line over enchantment, just to add a little bit of dimension, because if you apply this on its own, unless you're applying it very thickly, you're going to see, um, see through it, and it's going to look kind of like a little dirty, I find it looks, and I wanted something a little bit more opaque, so I did apply it over the enchantment that I applied. I wet my brush with the MAC Fix Plus, but it's dirty, I've been doing my makeup and testing products all day, so it's a little dirty. I used my Fix Plus, I applied just a small spritz to my brush, and then I emptied the glitter out into the cap so that I could have more precision. I dipped the tip in, and then I applied it right under there, right over um, enchantment. Now, I'm gonna show you a quick swatch of this product. First of all, I'm going to spray my brush. So I've given my brush just a quick spritz. And I'm going to go into the cap to get the color out. And this is a swatch of amethyst glitter on its own. Now, as you can see, it's quite pretty, but it looks much prettier, I feel, when it's applied over enchantment or even over noble descent. I feel like it gives like an extra dimension when it's applied over it. I really just like it more over enchantment. I feel like it's really pretty. Overall, it's a quite pretty glitter. Um, it's it's actually one of my favorites now. Um, it's actually quite pretty glitter, and if you're a fan of purple, you're really gonna enjoy this shade. Now, I also picked up a blush, and I got Sweet Sentiment Mineral Blush, and I found this blush to be really, really powdery. Like, even just a quick swipe of my brush found um, lots and lots of just you know, powder coming off. So be really gentle with this brush. Maybe use a little bit of a denser brush. Uh, don't go too uh, hard with it. But um, it is a quite pigmented brush, even blush, even for a pink blush. You get a lot of buildup really quickly. See? You get a lot of buildup really quickly. As you can see, I've applied it three times and already I have quite a thick swatch. I'm also wearing it today on right here right above my contour and as you can see it's quite noticeable it's um but of course you can sheer it out if you're a lighter skin tone or you can build it up if you're a darker or medium skin tone now, i also picked up two lip products i didn't go too crazy on the lip products and i i picked up no faux pas and this is the pink lipstick and i'm wearing it today but it looks a little bit darker on me because i'm wearing the gloss over it so i'm going to give you a quick swatch here and i'm also going to picture swatches of everything i'm showing you guys at the very end of the video so here's No Faux Pas. Very bright, hot pink, opaque, eight hours of wear, matte finish, not too drying, not too moisturizing, um, really easy to wear. It's not transfer proof, but it's very comfortable, I find, on the lips. Then I also applied um, Couture Chic, uh, Courting Chic. Now this is a cream sheen glass, and it kind of reminded me of like ruby slippers. Now I liked this this color very much. It was very opaque on its own, which I really don't find typical of the cream sheen glasses. But when you apply it over a pink shade, it gives just enough hint, like it deepens the shade. And that's what I was hoping it would do, and it did, and it added just a little bit of glitter. So it's not like teenage glitter, it's just a nice amount of glitter. So here's a swatch on its own. As you can see, quite opaque. Right out the gate. Now um, I'm gonna wipe a little bit off before I apply to my lipstick. And as you can see, it just darkens it slightly. Makes a really pretty color. I really like the uh, the, the pairing of those. And last but not least, um, I have a pretty, pretty nail polish, which is the MAC Glitter Just Jewels. I haven't liked a nail polish from their holiday collection since the Glamour Days collection with um, all that glitters, I think it was called. But a very, very pretty color. Now, holiday looks are typically um, sparkly, red lips, lots and lots of shimmer and sparkle at these holiday parties. Even fashion follows that, and I can't wait to show you guys a fashion haul for the holidays, rather winter season. I'm going to have that coming to you soon. But um, 
I tried to go in a little bit of a different direction. I kept my eyes shimmery, smoky, slightly smoky, but also slightly highlighted. I didn't do full smoke. I did do smoke out, pretty much. Um, I added the element of glitter, but instead of going for the typical gold, the typical silver, and playing it safe, I did purple, because purple is the color of this season, um, very hot for fall 2014, and also winter 2014. So get your purple on this holiday season if you normally stick to um, silvers and golds. Try to branch out a little bit. And then I went with the hot pink slash um, red gloss to kind of do a play on red. I wanted something that was red, but I also wanted something that was pink. I didn't want to stay within the box, so that's why I did this look. So pinks, purples, and uh, reddish pinks I think would be a great way to switch up your holiday look. I'm going to try to have a tutorial on this look. I can't promise it because I am really backed up and I want to be honest with you guys, but um, I gave you all the products that you would need. The only additional products that I used on my face was my foundation, which was the, which was the L'Oreal Visible Lift. I used that as my foundation. I also used I also used Camel Cods from Coastal Scents. Mine are really old and I have a new product that I'm going to show you guys in another video, which would be even better to use than those. I also used Too Faced Primmed and Poreless uh, over my foundation and I used uh, Mineral Hygienics to highlight and Ofra Americano Bronzo to con bronze bronzer Americano Bronzer to contour. So those are the other products that I used in my face aside from what I mentioned earlier, the Benefit They're Real liner. So if you picked up the holiday collection from MAC, you really don't need too many other products to complete your look or complete the look that I showed you today. But have a lot of fun this holiday and combined unconventional colors or colors you might not necessarily have used if you're used to sticking to those uh, if you like a smoky eye and you're used to sticking to the more traditional colors, change up one color in your look and kind of go with it. You can even do monochromatic looks where if you're going to go for pink, go for pink. Like I have the pink in the shadow in the eye, I have the pink blush, I have the pink shade on my lip. And then I match the purple glitter with the enchantment which has a little bit of purple in it and it's still dark enough that it can do the smoky eye. So I kept everything in the same range and it really worked well. So I hope you guys liked this. I hope you liked my review. I hope you guys picked up some stuff from this collection. Overall, I wasn't too impressed with the collection to be honest. Um, I felt like a lot of it's stuff we've seen before, but these products kind of stood out for me, therefore I picked them up. What did you pick up from the Heirloom Mix collection? Did you go for, um, did you go for buying all the lipsticks? Because I noticed a lot of them didn't sell out really fast like most lipsticks do. Anyway guys, let me know what you picked up, let me know how you're wearing them, and how you might use them for your holiday season. Please subscribe to my fashion blog and follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust, enjoy the picture swatches, thank you so much for watching.